and I'm back. And it's working now, apparently. Hello? Oh, it's so working now. Cool. Right, this is what we're opening. So this here is what we're opening. This is a sealed case of Pirates of the Caribbean Quick Strike cards plus uh, five, five, five packs. So these are the five packs. And then this is the sealed case. So that's what we've got. And then also, as a special bonus, we have nine packs, nine, count them, of Harry Potter Adventures at Hogwarts booster packs. Very exclusive booster packs, these are. Uh, I, I got them very luckily off, off of eBay. For one pound each. Big pluses there. Pro platformer, man's moving mad. I mean, I fucking wish I was moving mad. My, uh... My, my camera broke, but it's now fine. And I... Can we get a PogChamp? Probably. We can probably get a PogChamp. I could barely walk home, but I made it home. And now I'm going to open all of these packs for your entertainment. So we have 25 packs of Pirates of the Caribbean Twix Strike. Here they are. Uh, we're going to start with the five loose ones. Why not? I opened... I did have 30 of these, but I, I got to admit... I got to I got to admit, boys, I uh, I may have opened a few of them off stream because I was a bit impatient. But we're opening them now, and that's all that matters. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, I I got I got a few of these already. But we're we're gonna open these now. Uh, so let's let's see what we can get. All right. We're looking for the gold, the gold doubloon cards. They're the good shit. They are the good shit indeed. Let me just get my chat up properly. If you, if you didn't know from the title of this video, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. Anyway, pack ASMR, there you go. So, in Pirates of the Caribbean packs, you have to go one, two, three, and you put them to the front, and there you're on commons. Okay, so, for on commons, we have Cold Blooded, that card's pretty good, uh, Waylay, as another uncommon, and Give Chase. There's an additional comment. I can only apologise for the terrible quality of my shitty £30 webcam I bought off Amazon. You're just going to have to bear with it. Uh, then we have Barroom Brawl. That's a common. Finders Keepers is also a common. Martial Law is a common. Not by Choice is a common. Keel Hall is the rare. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have another card after the rare. Which I think means, and I, I think this is true, that we have a gold doubloon card. Are you are you ready? Are we ready? Let's find out what it is. Oh boy! We got one. Let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, Forged Fury. Exclusive Will Turner. What does it say? Your strikes have plus two force while in one of your zones with an ally. Damn son, that is what we are looking for, these gold balloon cards. And then our quick strike card is Captain Barbosa. Who doesn't love Captain Barbosa? What a chad he is. This is the common version of Captain Barbosa, uh, which kind of sucks, but maybe we'll get the rare later. I mean, we got 24 more packs to go, but we will fucking take a gold doubloon card these are what you're looking for. These are the only hollows in the entire set. 
Oh man, look at that shine. Look at that shine. And this is textured as well. I don't know if you can see that, but this is fucking textured as shit. Uh, so if anyone is actually in chat, drop me a hot pog champ for that fucking textured foil there. That is what we like to see. Okay, let's open some more Pirates of the Caribbean packs. I'm fucking ready for this. That was a good start. The five packs I opened earlier had not a single gold doubloon card. which made me very sad. That, ladies and gentlemen, is another bean in my bowl. Welcome, pro platformer, to the bean gang. You have entered the realm of kings. Thank you for the follow. Oh, we're opening another Pirates of the Caribbean pack. Obviously. What is the chat's favorite Pirates of the Caribbean character? Tell me now. What are you hoping to see from these packs? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we want to go one, two, three to the front. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, so we have Under the Blade. I need to get rid of this pack. Fuck off. Under the Blade as a first uncommon. Then, Suffer No Fools. And finally, Stick a Fork in Him. What a card. For commons, we have up the side, Jack the Monkey. Martial Law again. We've seen that earlier this video. Oh, there it goes. Prison Escape. At least it ain't Dragon Ball. You is fucking right. Uh, hold on. Speaking of Dragon Ball, bear with me one second, boys. For those who don't know, here it is. Winner, the Shamron Cup, TCG Con 2018. That's correct. For a very brief period of time, I was the number one number one Dragon Ball player in the UK. Now you know. You were there. Who is this? Who is Pro Platformer? I don't fucking know this guy. Who are you? Tell me now. Anyway, continuing with the pack opening, while Pro Platformer decides who he is, we have Prison Escape. Pressed into service. Oh, there it is. Another absolute gentleman has joined the Bean Gang, the Monkfish 3000. Welcome. Thank you, Bobby, for that hot follow. Keel Hall as a rare. Oh, my God. Okay, so so this is the last card. Now we're going to find out what that hot chamber card is. It is! Oh, the man, Will Turner! Let's find out what rarity this man is. He is a common, common Will Turner. Shove off and worth dying for. But I can tell you right now that Elizabeth Swan is not worth dying for. She is a bitch. But... He pairs very nicely with our Forged Fury Will Turner Advantage card. Very nice indeed. We will take that. It's John G. John G. Oh, oh, Jonathan Morgan. Yeah, yeah, sound, sound. Nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you. We open in the hotness today. Fuck Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball sucks. We're opening Pirates of the Caribbean cards now.
All right, we need to get we need to get more of these doubloon cards. This is the first one we've got today. I have I have two already. I have Jack Sparrow and I have Lord Beckett, but we need more. We need more. How's it going, Bobby? By the way, uh, nice to see you. Get that shit out of my face. Oh, all right, we're going we're going three to the front. So, our uncommons are Parting Shot. There it is. Disarm. And Improvised Tactics. Then we've got the commons. Not by choice. Incoming. Incendiary Shot. Claimed by the Depths. X marks the spot. Then for a rare... Yo. Okay, okay. There's no card behind the rare, so it's just a rare. For the rare, we have Weatherby Swan as an ally card. And then we have another Will Turner. Oh my god. Will Turner is representing right now. If you're a Will Turner fan, this is the stream for you. And it's another common. We got exactly the fucking same Will Turner as we just got. Absolutely kill me right now. Not a bad mate, just seeing what you're opening packs of today. Yep, you're not wrong. When am I not opening packs? Okay, so we've had uh, a Barbosa and two Will Turners. Alright, number pack number four. What, what characters do you guys want to see? What is your favorite Pirates of the Caribbean character? Tell me now. Let's hope we can pull the nice doubloon. Barbosa is 100% pretty based. He is fucking gold pilled. Okay, we're going to put three to the front. So, for uncommons, we have Ready for Anything. We have Drop Anchor. And we have Splinter and swords. Interesting. Brutes from the deep. That's a new card. I don't think I have this common. X marks the spot. Marty. Return the favor. Bloody pirates. Yo. We have Lesson of the Lash. Lesson of the Lash is the rare. And then for the quick strike card, we have Pintel and Rigetti. Interestingly, I've always said it as Rigetti and Pintel, but in this set, they say Pintel and Rigetti. Let's see what rarity it is, because every quick strike card, chamber card, I think they're called, has a rarity. And this is a common one. There it is. Is Davy Jones in the set? Let me answer that question by leaving the screen for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. I have a lot of these cards. I have already opened a fair few of these packs. Uh, but I opened three of these earlier and I can confirm that Davy Jones is in the set. There he is in all his glory. Davy Jones is an absolute chad. Anyone who thinks different is a fucking loser. Here he is. There he is in all his glory. Hold on. There's Davy Jones. And uh, that's his flip side. And this particular version of Davy Jones has Soul Cannon as his attack and Kraken attack. What a chad. What an absolute chad. Uh, not quite Norrington levels, but David Jones is a bit of a chap. Okay, let's see if we can pull any high rarity David Jones cards, because I am a big fan of David Jones. Outside of Norrington, I would say David Jones is definitely up there as one of my favorites. God, why are these all blister packs? Who fucking invented blister packs? They are such a 
pain in the arse to open. Why can't we just have booster packs? These things. That's that's where the real shit is at. You're correct when you quote me on Elizabeth Swan not being worth dying for. One second, lads. I'm just posting this on Snapchat so I can hopefully get some more viewers. It seems doubtful at half past midnight, but, we, you know, we can try. We can try. We've, we've got two followers already, and that is plus. Okay. All right, let's open this back. Let's get some ASMR in the chat. Oh, listen to that. All right, three to the front. Three to the front. There we go. We have Parting Shot again. Set Ablaze. Jimmy Legs. Oh, this is a new card. I actually want to know what this does. Ally Green. When you counter attack from Jimmy Legs zone, you may eliminate him, eliminate him, and if you do, eliminate one of your opponent's allies. Ooh. So an interesting thing about this card game is they actually created new characters just for this card game uh, that were not in the original Pirates of the Caribbean films or comic books. They just made them up for this game. Um, Jimmy Legs is one of those cards. Okay, then we have uh, I, I, but it's, it's I as in A-Y-E and then I as in E-Y-E. What's the flavor text on this? I used to play marbles as a boy, send them spinning, play tricks on my friends. So it's a seven intercept, which is quite a lot of intercept to be fair. Four, it's four strike. When you counter attack, your opponent reveals his or her current signature move. Damn, that card's pretty good. I like that card. Uh, commons, we have Jeremiah Hampton, Crazed Leap, Boarding Action, Roots from the Deep. Sneaker board is the rare. No card after the rare. That means there's sneaker board. And that means we have Will Turner again. God damn. That is three in a row Will Turners. Fuck me. Let's see what rarity this one is. Let's hope it's like a, not a common. That would be nice. I can't get the fucker open. There we go. It is. Oh, it's an uncommon Will Turner. Just like old bootstrap is his first attack, and then his other attack is hold your ground. Just like old bootstrap. That's a kind of cool attack, to be fair. For each ally you have, just like old bootstrap has one it's plus one intercept. And it has eight force. Fuck my life. That is a good attack. Okay, there you go. Three will turners. And this one is not protecting Elizabeth Swan, so he is the ultimate Chad. This is a Will Turner stream. This is the stream of Will Turner. Uh, but that's it. We're out of loose Pirates of the Caribbean packs, so we're going to open one of these Harry Potter adventure decks. Is Will Turner Turbo a meta deck? I don't know. I genuinely do not know what is meta in Pirates of the Caribbean Quick Strike. His, his gold doubloon card, this thing, seems kind of trash. Seems kind of uber trash compared to the other uh, gold doubloon cards that we've had. But maybe Will Turner's skill makes up for it. We'll see. But we're going to open some Harry Potter cards now. Oh, oh, look at this. Pack fresh from 2001. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. So, we have a potions thing. Muffling draft. During your opponent's next turn, he or she can't use actions to play spell cards. Seems kind of good. Then we have troll bogeys. Choose a non-healing 
item in play and return it to its owner's hand. Nice. Oh, I love this card. I actually think this card's sick. Like, tell me that artwork is not sick as fuck. Uh, the effect is kind of meh before each year you turn draw a card, but like seeing that photo album as this kind of artwork, damn, that is some nice ass artwork. I can respect some good art. Then we have a Canut, which I have not seen before. What does this do? You can only play one money card each turn before your card. If this turn is in play, discard it and you get one more action. Seems pretty good to me. Then we have Switching Spell. Oh, I've seen that before. There's Switching Spell. Then we have... Fungiface Potion. Interesting common. Then we have a Lesson, which is basically like Mana in the Harry Potter trading card game. And another lesson. And then we get into the uncommons. Alright, we have to start off an adventure, which are quite exciting cards in the Harry Potter TCG. And we have Looking for Trevor. That is a lot of text for a Harry Potter card. I don't know if you guys can read that. Probably not. But basically it says your opponent can't use actions to play creature cards, which seems pretty broken. To solve it, your opponent chooses two of his or her lessons in play and discards them. And the reward is your opponent may search his or her deck. He or she may take a creature card from his or her deck, show it to you and put it into his or her hand. Then your opponent shuffles him or her deck. Okay, so that seems like a lot of PCST that just doesn't need to exist. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty decent adventure. And then we have another adventure, lads. This time it is five points from Gryffindor. What a chad adventure, because it has fucking Professor Snape on it. Uh, this one is, play this card only if you have at least five lessons. Your opponent gets one fewer action on each of his or her turns. And to solve, your opponent chooses five cards from his or her hand and discards them. Snape is laying down the law in this picture. Look at that shit. What an absolute chad. Then for the rare, we have Midnight Jewel. Who remembers this? So this is when Harry went to uh, go fight Malfoy in the trophy cabinet. But Malfoy was a massive pitch-ass pussy. And uh, he he decided not to show up and call Argus Filch instead. So this adventure, play this card only if you have at least five or more lessons. To use an action to play a creature or spell, your opponent must discard another card. Damn, that's pretty good. And then to solve it, your opponent chooses four of his or her cards in play and discards them. Jesus, that is fucking good. And the report, reward is your opponent draws four cards. This is a good ass card. This is a good ass card. I like this card. So that is the first Harry Potter fact. I'm very much more into the Harry Potter game than I am into the Pirates of the Caribbean game. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean game is more fun to play, but the uh, Harry Potter game just has sick fucking artwork. Sorry, I needed a drink. And to illustrate that fact, I have the entire base set uh, minus every card that comes in foil, and it's right here. So we're gonna go through each one of them. I'm just gonna show it to you. So we have Delivery Owl. We have the Draft of Living Death. We have Harry Hunting. This card is kind of bonkers. Like, it makes your opponent's creatures and spells cost two more mana to play. That's kind of nuts. Then we have History of Magic. Like, if anyone in the chat is a Harry Potter fan, this is the biggest nut ever. Like, this shit is so fucking cool. Uh, incendio 
malevolent mixture. Meet the centaurs. Uh, so for people who don't know, the Harry Potter TCG, uh, it came out in 2001, it finished in 2002. It was um, a very short-lived card game for various reasons. And uh, effectively, it is... So the, the first, there were five five as sets. So you had base set, you had Quidditch World Cup, which was the second set. You had uh, Diagon Alley, which was the third set. Then you had Adventures of Hogwarts, which are the packs that I have today. This was the fourth set. And then finally there was Chamber of Secrets, which was the fifth set. And that's the rarest set. That's the hardest one to come by. Um, so everything before the Chamber of Secrets sets was um, just year one stuff. They didn't expand into year two stuff. So everything you see here, which is uh, base set cards. These are all base set cards. These were all base set cards. Uh, is from Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, depending what region you're in. Uh, so do bear that in mind when we go through it. So we have Mountain Troll. Mrs. Norris. What an iconic character from Harry Potter that just didn't get enough love. And here is Mrs. Norris. Then we got Norbert, Norbert the Dragon, good old Philosopher's Stone character. Uh, I do have the foil adventure that goes with Norbert, but uh, it's, it's over in my cupboard. I can get it later. If people want to see it, let me know and I'll go get it. But if not, um, here's just Norbert on his own. Then you've got Phoenix Feather Wand. Just... Just look at the artwork on this card, on these cards. It's so fucking nice. Uh, platform nine and three quarters. What a card. Uh, potion ingredients. Some of the artwork is cursed. Like this artwork is cursed. Hold on, hold on. Let this woman stare into your soul. Raven to writing desk. Shrinking potion. Bro, Hermione hitting the bong. You right, you right, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Pause, pause for a second. Let me go show you Hermione hitting the bong. So, Hermione offers you the booth. Do you accept? Look at this cursed fucking artifact. Who drew this? Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was what Hermione looked like in the Philosopher's Stone? Please inform me. Because I strongly disagree. That came... This came in a starter deck. This came in a starter deck. Everyone got to see this shit. But if that is haunted, then let me let me hold up one sec. I'll be right back. Let me introduce you. Oh fuck, I got the wrong box. I'll be right back again. Okay, I got the right box this time. Let me introduce you to Professor Phileas Flitwick, the Haunter of Souls. Look at this man. This is the most cursed man you have ever seen in your life. 
did did you think this was what Professor Flitwick looked like? I didn't. But apparently this is what they thought Professor Flitwick looked like in 2001. Before Warwick Davis did him justice. Ghost Rare Flitwick. You was right. I mean, if we can pull a Ghost Rare out of the... If we can pull a Ghost Rare Dumbledore, because Dumbledore is in this set, I'm going to be buzzing. I'm going to be buzzing. But this is the Ghost Rare Flitwick from base set. He's my current deck master, I suppose is the word for it. Uh, we do have a normal rare Dumbledore that I pulled from a pack earlier. Here he is. But you can get him in the same rarity that Flitwick is in. So you can get this, this card to look like this. And that's why I want. That's what I want right now. I want this, but in this rarity. Look at Dumble Faggot go. What a hero. What a champion of men. Anyway, going back through base set cards. Uh, we have Titilando. What a card. Transfiguration Exam. Transfiguration Test. Four. Privet Drive. Look at Vernon Dursley. What a moustache on that man. What a unit. What an absolute fucking unit. Vernon Dursley is. And we have Alchemy. Apothecary. Apparate. Baby Dragon making a cameo from Yu-Gi-Oh. Here he is in the flesh. Bluebell Flames. Actually a pretty cool card. Burning Bitterroot Br Balm. I think I said that right. I don't know. I'm quite drunk. If you couldn't tell, I'm quite drunk right now. Then we have Cage. Confundus. That man looks pretty confused. Then Diagonally. Like, damn! That is a card! Look at that shit! Why didn't people buy this? Why didn't I buy this when it was out? These look sick! Look at that artwork, my guy. Fuck me. Dog Breath Potion. Draco's Trick. Dragon Heart Wand. Like, just look at the fucking craftsmanship that went into these. Look at the back of them. Look at this shit. It looks fucking sick. How did I not know about this? You got any Malfoy cards? Do I have any Malfoy cards, he says. Alright, bear with me one second. It should be in here somewhere. Here he is. I found him. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Draco Malfoy. Just for Bobby. Look at this man. You'll be my father will be hearing about this Potter. Uh, so his ability is during your turn you may use an action to discard a card from your hand and look at your opponent's hand and choose one of their cards and discard it. So this man is hand loop the card. This is Infernity the card. This is Smoke Grenade of the Thief the card. What a Chad, Chad Malfoy. These, these both came in the starter deck. These both came in the starter decks for um, Harry Potter card game. Okay, then we've got Fumos. Excellent card. Guard Dog. Hiding from Snape. Because what else can you do? Snape is too much of a chad. You have to hide from him. I mean, fuck me. Snape is an absolute gamer. I love him. Rest in peace, Alan Rickman. Then we have uh, a Kelpie. That's a pretty cool card. 
I don't remember a Kelpie being in uh, Philosopher's Stone, but I suppose it was. Logic puzzle. Mysterious egg. Nurture. Look at Hagrid. Look at Hagrid taking care of Norbert there. What a blessed card. Absolutely blessed. Good old Ollivander. Looking hella cursed there. Peeves causes trouble. This adventure is kind of dumb as fuck. I'm also not convinced with how they illustrated Peeves. So you can see it better on this pack artwork. So this is Peeves, the poltergeist. I never imagined Peeves looking like this. I'm not sure what I did imagine Peeves looking like though, but this is what he looks like in the trading card game. Interesting. Then we have Pet Toad. Uh, not sure who would pick that, except for Neville Longbottom. Like, why the fuck would you want a Toad? Pomfrey's Pick Me Up. Madam Pomfrey out here looking like Princess Leia in all white with her weird hairdo. Potions exam. Look at Snape. What a lad. I fucking love Snape. Anyone who says Snape is a bitch can come and fight me. Reptile house. If, if you didn't know that it was a reptile house from this title, it also says it here. In Comic Sans, no less. Because there is no superior font than Comic Sans to use at the fucking National Zoo in London. Then we have Silver Cauldron. Very cool card. Snuffing Potion. Stupefy, what a card. I've killed David with this many a time. Good old Stupefy. Take Root, pretty good card. Transmogrify. Just, just tell me, tell me for one second that these cards are not fucking gorgeous artwork-wise. Look at that shit. That is a cat with wings. And every card has like, every card that's like a character has quotes from the show in it. That's so sick. Then we have unusual pets. Look at Hagrid, look how excited he is. Vanishing glass. Then one for the boys, winged keys. Who remembers the winged keys? And who remember Harry looking like this? Because I certainly don't. When did Harry Potter ever look like this? I'm not sure what Ginny saw in him if he's looking like this. Nasty ass fucking greb. Then we have Akio. Good old Flitwick making an appearance. Abifors. Borbilius. Chad card. Boa Constrictor to go with our uh, reptile exhibit that we have. Boil Cure. Oh, there it is. Borrowed Wand. This, this card I actually think is kind of good. From reading what it does. Cauldron to sieve. Curious Raven, this comes in the star deck. Dung Bomb. Exopimize, is that how you say it? Epoximize, sorry, epoximize. Irrumpent Potion. Seems terrible, but fair enough. Fluffy falls asleep. Good old fluffers. If 
Forest Troll. Forgetfulness Potion. Foul Brew. Giant Tarantula. Look at this artwork. I mean, you can't see it on this trash-ass webcam, but just look at that shit. It's so fucking cool. Hagrid and the Stranger. Because you remember that's where he bought uh, Norbert's egg from? Homework. Everyone hates homework. Hospital wing. Illegibus. Incarciforts. Lost notes. Magical mishap. Again. Noxious poison. Damn. Out of the woods. If you remember, um, this this is from when he has to go to detention with Hagrid. Oh, hi, hi Angus. How's it going? Um, this is from when he went to detention with Hagrid because he smuggled Norbert out, but then he forgot his invisibility cloak on the top of the tower. Welcome to the gamer zone. He's right. He's not wrong. And we have a Petret. My Petret. Who remembers that guy who cut the fucking Petret with his knife? Uh, a pewter cauldron. Good shit. We're getting into the comments now. Potions mistake. Good old remember all. Neville Longbottom energy on this card. Look at that shit. This is this is a common. This is a common card. Just look at that. This shit is so cool. How do you not think this is cool? Restrictive section. Gotta love the restricted section. It's a section that's restricted. Scottish stag. Can I get any Scotlanders in the chat? Snape's question. But what was his question and did Harry answer it? The question was, oh, I remember now. He asked what, like, the difference was between monkshood and wolfsbane. And the answer is there is no difference. They are the same plant, but also goes by the name of Aquanite. And it doesn't say that on the card. I'm just a fucking sad bastard that knows that off by heart. Squivel quill. Steel claw. This card is good. This card is really good. All your creatures do damage to your opponent. That card's good. Then we have a Surly Hound. A Toe Biter. That's uh, Bobby Energy, if ever I've seen it. Vermilius. Vicious Wolf. Wingardium Leviosa! Wizard crackers, and then we just have the the mana that came in the base set. So they they added Quidditch as a mana type in the set that came after base set, but in base set these were the four manners, and then there's Quidditch as an additional mana. So you can potentially get Quidditch out of these packs. Interesting to note, but in the base set there were only these four types of mana. I suppose mana is not the right word, but. Okay, that's uh, every non-hollow out of the base set. I thought I'd just show that for some context. Now we're going to get back to Pirates of the Caribbean packs because we've got a fuck ton of them to open. Here we go. 
Look at that shit. 20, fu 20 of the fuckers. Oh my god, this has ruined everything. Oh, Davy Jones, get out of here. Let's put these to one side. And we'll just take them one at a time. Okay, here we go. Fuck me, I can't even open them. I'm so pissed. There we go. I might just, I might just like rip all of the sleeves off, so bear with me while I just do this. This, this might take a fair minute. But there's plenty of shit on the screen you can look at. Fuck it. You've got Draco Malfoy, you've got fucking three Will Turners to look at. There you go. And then we can just crack straight into the pack, so it's gonna be gravy. I wonder what the ratios are for a case, because this is a sealed case of blister packs. So I'm kind of interested to see how many gold doubloons we can get in a sealed blister case. Who invented blister packs? This is such a waste of cardboard. If anyone wants to join in on a live commentary, please feel free to join the Discord. Um, and I'll uh, I'll hop into general chat. Fuck it, anyone can join. Hop into my Discord, join the general chat, and we can hang out together. Why not? Yeah, it, it is linked in my uh, channel somewhere. It'll, it'll be somewhere, there's a little button that takes you to my Discord. Do, do give us a, a cheeky follow. I have, I have dropped a pack and I can't find it. What the fuck? Help. Where did it go? Where did it go, boys? It's lost forever. Ah, fuck it. It'll turn up. It'll turn up eventually. God, how many of these fuckers have we got to go? Too many is the answer. God, I'm just looking at my bed like this is a mess. But fortunately, Sober Jacob has to deal with that, and I am not that person. Because I am drunk Jacob. Oh, that one opened so easy. Why couldn't this one open so easy? This is the, the boring experience of pack openings. Ugh. Fuckers. Who, who made blister packs? Can someone tell me? Like, who, who invented this? They need to die. Let's send them all hate mail. Well, 
Why can't I just have the packs? Why couldn't you just make a booster box upper deck? Fucking upper deck. Absolute bastards. You couldn't make Yu-Gi-Oh properly, you can't make fucking Pirates of the Caribbean properly. Alright, four more to go, we got this. Imagine trying to join the Discord, but you get hit with an error. That's a big F on that one, Chief. Um, is, is that on your end, or is that my end? Because uh, I can I can try and fix that if it's that's my end. Yeah, little big man. Oh shit! I guess it's his end. What's All right. That? Welcome, monkfish. Welcome to the oh, drunken pack cool. opening. Gosh, I get a drink. <laughs> if you want me, because I'm pissed as assholes. I've been drinking since two p.m. Is it is it rough? Like that's very I've not had any rum to be honest. I've I've had a lot of cider. Oh, yeah, Alright, there we go. That's it. We've got twenty fucking booster packs right here. Let's fucking go. Hang on, let me get the stream back up so I can actually see what your uh, booster packs you You're live to four people. One of them is yourself, Bobby. How do you feel? It's, it's an experience, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Right, let's check we've got 20 here. 1, 2, oh fuck. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, fuck. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19! We've been scammed! 19, there's only 19, we've been scammed. Oh no, I lost one, didn't I? Oh wait, it's here! Is there a way to, is there a way to mute the actual uh, Twitch stream? Because otherwise, I'm hearing myself. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Just, seconds. just, just press the, uh, just press the speaker button, and it should mute it. Too. Where the fuck did that one I dropped on the floor go? I can't find it, man. Oh, I found it! I found it! It's here. There we go. Twenty, 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 twenty. Okay, let's get it. Wait, where's the mute button on mobile? Is the question. I don't know, I don't use mobile, I'm not a peasant. Uh, Got him! Okay, so we are hunting for the Norrington Gold Doubloon card. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, so it's one, two, three to the front. Throw that shit to the side. Okay, first uncommon we have is Under the Blade, then Suffer No Fools. Stick a fork in him again. Parlay. Looking for trouble. Barroom Brawl, Easy Mark, Finders Keepers, then a rare into the thingy, so no doubloon card here, and the rare is Cannibal Spear, and then the doubloon card is Bobby's boy and my boy also, Davy Jones. Look at him go. Let's see what rarity he is. Oh, we got Davy Jones in here. Oh shit! It's a rare! It's a rare Davy oh. Jones! Highest rarity Davy Jones. Nefarious boy. intent. And Kraken Attack again. But the new oh, one boy. is Nefarious Intent. Look at that shit. What is it? A, a 7 intercept 6 strike. When your opponent attacks from a zone... Eliminate all of his or her energy in that zone. Holy shit! That's a good effect. Is that, is that board wipe? That's pretty broken. Um, for people who don't know how to play this game, uh, I think me and David are planning a stream on it at some point. So stay tuned for that one. I'll have to, uh, I'll 
have to stick around for a while, I guess. It's, it's definitely not going to be tonight, because I think David's dead, but... <laughs> he's dead, perhaps. I mean, he didn't reply to my message, so he's dead. Oops. He's dead to me. Anyway, next pack. Come on, we need them doubloon hits. Where are the doubloon hits? Is the is the uh, doubloons like the? They're the, they're the, the only foil the cards. Only foil cards. These doubloony cards here. I have I have uh, Beckett's one. Which is like for the glory of Britain or something. I think it's British oh, justice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have Jack Sparrow's one. So I want to get Norrington's one ideally. Is there a Barbosa one? Yeah, yeah. There's one for every character in the set. Oh, so anyone that has a chamber card, which are these cards, has uh, an associated to balloon card. All right. So we have. For this pack, Tia Dalma. We're gonna get the uh, Will Turner one now because we've got so many Will Turner. I don't ones. want the Will Turner one again. Fuck that. Uh, Knockout and Crossed Swords. There are uncommons. Then we have Marty as a common. Hand to hand. X marks the spot. Crazed Leap. Hot Potato. A rare, which is Last Meal, and then Greenbeard. Green now, Beard. yeah, if you don't know who Greenbeard is, he is one of the exclusive characters to the TCG. That's right, Upper Deck did it again, and they decided to just make random characters that don't exist in the game's universe for their own game. This is a common one that has Monstrous Blow. And uh, Blade from the Depths. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, there you go, Greenbeard. Uh, yeah, Greenbeard and... Um, oh, what's the other exclusive character they have? Hold on, hold on. I'll see if it's in here. If it's not, I'll just get it when I come to it. Oh, you want something? Apparently, Greenbeard was in the movies. He's just a background character. Oh, okay. Well, fuck Greenbeard. Yeah, he's uh, the. Apparently, he's the helmsman from the Flying Dutchman. Oh, so, okay. Um, was he ever uh, named? Was he like named in the movies? No, I feel like he's literally just named in like. Yeah, it's gotta be, gotta be. Material. Um, but there is, Wait, there is. If he's one of those, does that mean he has a, a doubloon card? Yeah, yeah, he will. He definitely will have a doubloon card. Okay, next pack we have over, Overtake as an uncommon, Ready for Anything, and Set Ablaze. Then we have Parlay, Looking for Trouble, Barroom Brawl, Easy Mark, Finders Keepers, and the rare is Last Meal. Uh, no card after the rare, but then we have Elizabeth Swan. God damn, she is looking rough. <laughs> it's your favourite character, Jake. Look at that <laughs> shit. I mean, she looks better on the other side, like that. Like, how do you go from a 2 to a 10 that fast? Anyway, let's see what rarity she is. She is an uncommon Elizabeth Swan. So we have Stunning Beauty. I'm not so sure on that one. Kira Knightley <laughs> seen better days. And The Art of the Blade. Interesting. There we go. We've got we've got an Elizabeth Swan to go with our Will Turner. Who Will Turner do be looking a bit like Blackbeard. Or like um the Captain Hook. He looks a bit like Captain Hook. I mean, it's not a bad look, to be fair. No. It's not quite Orlando Bloom levels of hotness, but... I mean, yeah, valid, valid. Okay. Next pack. 
On this stream, we only simp for Orlando's room. We have Gillette, the best a man can get. Um, then Cornet, Ship's Graveyard, Hunted Down, Jeremiah Hampton, Goodnight Captain, Parlay again, this card is showing up like nobody's business. And then ladies and gentlemen, we have a rare followed by an additional card, that means we have a doubloon card. Can we get the Norrington? Can we do it? Let's find out. Okay, so we what have we Utter Despair as the rare. And then the doubloon card is... And Really Bad Eggs, which is Jack Sparrow's one. Which we I already have a copy of, which I'm a bit sad oh, about. Yeah, unfortunately so. I mean, I've not I've not opened it on the channel, so that's fine. But there that's you go. The balloon card exclusive Jack Sparrow. I mean, I want to complete the whole set eventually, so it would have been nice to have uh, yeah a new one. But whatever, we'll take Jack Sparrow's one. There we go. It's still like easy to get packs for this. I mean, these these packs were like a pound each, but I bought the whole Please supply. I got my eBay. eBay. Yeah. But uh, I think they're like pretty scarce after that one. And then the the funnily enough, the card, the chamber card we got was Jack Sparrow also. Combo. Uh, but me and David played the game and it was really fun. Like this game is really fun. Davy Jones yeah, doubloon the, uh... is the real chase card. No, 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 no. Norrington doubloon is the real chase card. Uh, so again, let me know. I'll come watch. Yeah, sure. Uh, Jack Sparrow is a common. I'm still I'm on fucking eBay looking for uh, Harry Potter trading cards now. Bro, I've been on eBay looking for Harry Potter trading cards the last like fucking month of my life. Alright. I'm gonna build a, build a Draco Malfoy down into the grave. The do day. it, do it. Play with me and David. Okay, so next pack we have the uncommons first. Ship's graveyard again. Cutlass slash. Desperate times. Dangerous boneheads. Brazen defiance. Barroom brawl, a fan favorite. Finders keepers. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rare and another card. That means we have another doubloon card. Dude, Holy back shit! Back-to-back back doubloons! Bro! Alright, so the rare is Sharp Retort. There it is. Are you fucking joking me? It's Jack Sparrow again! These are some really, really bad eggs! Is that a playset? <laughs> nah, that's three. Playset's four. Is it four in this? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Like every other card game is four, and then you give it to Nah, you give it just three. just different. Hey, if you really want to play that Jack Sparrow deck, just sort it now. To be fair, Jack Sparrow's gold doubloon card is kind of hot. It, um, you can use yellow energy to pay any sidebar cost, which is actually not terrible. Uh, but yeah, kind of gutted that we've had two doubloon cards that have been doubles, and I want to try and complete the whole set. Uh, however, the chamber card was the card I was trying to find earlier, which is Rachel Darling, who is, I am very sure, exclusive to the TCG. Uh, so here she is, Rachel Darling. Should we look on the wiki and see if that is, uh, in fact, correct? And there's the other side. Let's see what rarity she is. She is a common. So you have Over the Rails and Cat's Grace. Yeah, she is exclusive to the... Uh, creative, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure she is, yeah. Yeah, just, just checked on the Absolutely wiki. mental right. that they decided to just make their own characters for this, but whatever. 
looks pretty cool. Though, right. but... Oh man, this this copyright free music thing I'm using is pretty hot. This song's good. Just playing a copyright free montage parody music. Literally, and I love that shit. You know I love that shit. You've driven with me before. <laughs> yeah, I've been in your car before. <laughs> Okay, so uncommons we have walk the plank, one good deed, and rifle crash. Then for commons we have hand to hand, X marks the spot, crazed leap, hot potato, cotton's parrot. Then the rare is Weatherby Swan. And there is nothing else, it is just the chamber card, which is Lord Beckett. What a man. Yeah. We have the common Lord Beckett, which is Beckett's Bargain and Change of Tactics. We do like some British justice. Beckett is a uh, free chat. I do like Beckett, I'm a big fan of Beckett. All right, we we've still got plenty of packs left. Don't worry, lads. All right, three to the front. We have ready for anything. Drop anchor, splinters and swords. Then for the commons, good night, Captain. Rachel Darling is an ally. There she is again. Hunted down, not by choice, incoming, and just a rare on this one, Hatchet Job. Then the uh, chamber card is Pintel and Rigetti. The boys. The boys. Hello, Poppet. <laughs> Parlay. Parlay. Okay, this is the uncommon one, which is has the effect of rum and gold, what every man strives for, and a uh, heavy ordinance. Again, I, like rum and heavy ordinance sounds like a strong. I'd also like to point out that on this side of Rigetti and Pintel, they are normal, and then on this side they become the skeleton version, which I think is pretty oh, dope. That's, that's sick. All right, next pack. Let's see. We need more doubloon hits that aren't Jack Sparrow. Come on. You're going to get a full play set. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I just want to complete the set. Okay, so for uncommons, we have Hull Breach. Oh, I need to move this shit out of the way. Hey, okay, Hull Breach. Ramming Speed. Oh, yeah. And Desperate Times, which has our boy Davy Jones on. Then for commons, we have Captain's Choice, Branch Out, Moonlight Ambush, Bootstrap Bill. You gotta love Bootstrap Bill. I mean, he's looking a bit worse for wear in this artwork, but you gotta love Bootstrap Bill. What's his quote say? Also, like, all of these cards have quotes on them, which is sick. This card game is just sick. The, the problem with it is it doesn't have hollows and it's not Harry Potter, so I don't care about it as much as this card game, but this card game is still sick as fuck. Then we have a uh, hiding place and uh, just a rare for this one, Scorched Sails. God damn, this artwork is sick. Look at that. I mean, my webcam is not doing any of these cards justice because my webcam sucks. But that looks sick. And the chamber like card. Ancient card game with sick artwork. Oh yeah, for sure. And the chamber card is none other than Barbosa. There yeah. he is. Good old Joffrey Rush. This is the common version, which has double cross and easy pickings. Not a fan of that one. Not a fan of that one. Right, next pack. 
Next next doubloon card we pull, we'll take a break and open a Harry Potter deck. Okay, uncommons. We've got splinters and swords. Gillette, the best a man can get again. Dueling with death. That's a sick card. Over a barrel for commons. Aye, aye again. Jeremiah Hampton. Crazed leap. Path to destruction. Hello, boys. Path to destruction followed by an additional card. And path to destruction is indeed our rare. What could we possibly get as our doubloon card? Who have we got? Will it be a new one? No, it's fucking Will Turner again. I want to kill myself. <laughs> this is the stream of doubles, and I don't like it. Ugh, we're going over to Potter now, then. Yeah, there we go. That was the doubloon card. One, one Potter pack must now be opened. Uh, the chamber card was Barbosa again. Let's hope we can get a better version of Barbosa now. It's the uncommon version. Skeleton crew and frightfully outclassed. I like that. I like that a lot better than the common one. Much nicer names. All right, time for the Potter cards. Uh, for context, these I got these for a pound each, and a sealed booster box of 36 Adventures at Hogwarts packs is £150. I mean, so we plus we plus pretty hard. Uh, if we can get some hollows out of this, we plus even harder. Hollow Dumbledore is money. Can we get Dumbledore? Hollow Dumbledore is money. Yeah, here we go. Pack is open. We got four commons. Anti-cheating spell. Cauldron Cakes. Dog Bite. Now this is sick. Who remembers this? You know when you know when Harry goes into the teacher's lounge? To ask for his like book back or some shit, and then Snape's bandaging up his leg, and then he assumes that Snape is this is the card. There it is. What's the quote? The quote says, "Blasted thing, Snape was saying. How are you supposed to keep your eyes on all heads at once?" The fact that every oh, quote yes. on these cards is fucking directly lifted from the books is the dopest thing ever. It's when he thinks Snape's gone and... Got yeah, yeah, he thinks there. Snape's, like, the trying to break into the Chamber of Secrets. Not the Chamber of Secrets, the fucking get the Philosopher's Stone. I mean, that was, like, a gas twist, though. And the, the whole book was setting it up, like, Snape's the bad player. Yeah, and then it was, it was Quirrell the whole time. Else. And then we have... This for a 20-year-old uh, book, by the way. Then we have uh, one of the Quidditch cards, which I was talking about earlier, the new the new mana type Quidditch, which is yellow, so I'm instantly interested in it. <laughs> Quidditch turbo. The Booking Broomstick, which obviously Quirrell makes happen and Snape tries to prevent, but again, everyone thinks Snape was doing it. Snape's trying to curse him, yeah. Then we have Owl Post. Sleeping Potion. Then the mana we have here is Transfiguration and uh, Care of Magical Reaches. Then we get into the Uncommons. We have an Adventure card, Candy Cart. God damn, look at that card. Play this card only if you have at least three lessons in play. Before each of your opponent's turns, he or she draws three cards and then chooses three cards in their hand and discards them. God damn, that's good. You, and to solve, your opponent takes 10 damage. Are you fucking dizzy? That is a broken adventure. Holy crap. Uh, then we have purple firecrackers for the second uncommon. There it is. And then we just have a normal rare, which is potions dungeon, which is a location card. Whenever a potions lesson is discarded from play, put it back into your hand. There is that card. That's a pretty good card. There's gonna be like a loop you can do with that, right? Probably. There's quite a lot of potions cards that discard potions like lessons. 
Well, there you go. Potion no, control. no hollows from that. That's what David plays. David plays potions. Okay, let's crack this. More Pirates of the so what Caribbean. Are you, what are you playing if he's playing potions? I'm playing a uh, Flitwick at the minute, but I've boosted oh, my, I've boosted my collection significantly with my full base set collection and these twelve packs. So maybe that will change. I kind of want to play Dumbledore. That looks fun. Okay, so what for Dumb what's Dumbledore's ability again? Yeah, Dumbledore's ability is kind of broken. Dumbledore's kind of dummy thick. <laughs> so uh, his ability is: if I have at least four lessons, so four mana, effectively, every card with a cost of six or more requires two less to play it. Oh, okay. So he basically he's spam expensive spells. Yeah, he is a big spell player. Okay, so uh, for uncommons we have Under the Blade, Grim Determination, which I love. I think this card looks great. God damn. What's the quote for this card? Come on, who's next? I can keep this up all day. What banger of a quote. Then we have Catherine Blades, who is another exclusive TCG character. Uh, Marty. Hand to hand, which was upside down in the pack randomly. Not sure that means anything, but it was. X marks the spot. Crazed leap. Hot potato. And then the rare is no pain in the afterlife, which is actually a new one for me. I have not seen this card before, and that card looks pretty cool. It's got green beard on it. Nice. And then we have Rachel Darling again. Let's see what rarity she is. She is a common over the rails and swashbuckler is the common attack. Hells to the air. Oh, we really need some unique doubloon cards here. I was really hoping to hit some more unique ones here, but we are just not. Yeah, we just like... We're just getting all the dupes. Three Jack Sparrows and two Will Turners. Well, two Jack Sparrows, two Will Turners. I already had one of the Jack Sparrows. But, yeah, it's pretty, pretty gross. Pretty gross. Anyway... Sinister Plans. This is a new uncommon. I've not seen this before, and it looks very cool. Look at Barbosa. He is being very sinister. Through the smoke. Cornered. Then commons. We have not by choice. Incoming. Incendiary shot. Claimed by the depths. Roots from the depths. Ready the long nines. What a card. That is the rare. Ready long nines. And then our chamber card is Rachel Darling again. Uh, Can we get a rare? She is a uncommon. So we have Cat's Grace and Frenzied Attack again. I wonder if I even will have all the chamber cards after this. Because you get one per pack. And there's, I think there's there's like three of each character. So obviously there's like a common, uncommon, and rare of each character. Yeah. I mean, you'll probably have loads of dupes of a common. Oh, definitely. Okay. So for uncommons, we have one good deed. Higher ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. Good old prequel memes. Uh, not a sound, and then parlay, looking for trouble, barroom brawl, easy mark, I think we've seen most of these, find his keepers, and then the rare is skeletal skewer, god damn, look at that card, Will Turner is laying down the law, and then the chamber card is Cutler Beckett. Let me just see what rarity is. Oh, oh, a rare Cutler Beckett. Hello. 
So we've got your mind, Turner. And Call to Duty. Damn, we got the rare Cutler Beckett. I'm hype about that. We do like a bit of Cutler which, Beckett. Which Norrington uh, Chamber cards have you got? I've got all the, the Norrington one. Chamber cards. I just don't have his doubloon card. Sadly. That's the one I want. I want the the Norrington doubloon. Okay, come on, give us the Norrington, bless us. My my floor is just littered with packs. <laughs> okay, Blade Maiden. Drop anchor and look before you leap. That's the uncommon. Then we have Goodnight Captain as a common. Rachel Darling as a common. Hunted down, not by choice. Incoming. And uh, just a rare utter despair. That is how I feel right now. I was going to say, is that when you open multiple dupes? Of and we have another Rachel Darling. Please be a rare. It's a fucking uncommon. We already have it. We literally just got it. But there it is. So many Rachel Darlings. How many have we got left? Seven packs. Seven chances to get the fabled Norrington. I mean, how rare are they? The, uh, the I, I actually don't know. It doesn't say on the back of the packs because they're from blister packs. You so might I, get like one more, maybe two more. I genuinely have no idea. Okay, through the smoke. Cornered. Elizabeth Swan, get the fuck out of my sight. <laughs> Up the side. Jack the Monkey, what a fucking card. Why was this a common and Elizabeth Swan is an uncommon? Actually, fuck off with that shit. Martial Law. Damn. Prison Escape. Pressed into service. And just a rare rope ride. And then we have Rachel Darling again. Fuck off. This better be a rare. It's a fucking uncommon again! Get out of here! Get the fuck out of here, Rachel Darling. Ugh. Where are the pools? Where are the doubloons? Where is Norrington? Where is the Norrington doubloon? Okay, uncommons. Permission to come aboard. Cold-blooded. Parting shot. Then for commons, Cotton's Parrot. What a lad. Claimed by the depths. Fire at will. Prison escape. Incoming. And just a rare again. For Britain! What a rare! If you're going to get a rare... Look at that rare! You can't beat it. For fucking Britain, boys! Me and the boys on the way to colonize half the planet. Well, that's going right there for Britain. And the uh, card was Will Turner, which I think I have about 10 million of. However, it is the rare Will Turner. Uh, carcass shot and hold your ground. So at least he wasn't so chatting about Elizabeth Swan this time. It's better than the simp version. Correct. No simp. Oh, we we got to have for Britain there. <laughs> Always for Britain. Alright. Three to the front. Uncommons. Hull Breach. 
Improvised Tactics and Wipeout. Commons, we have Jeremiah Hampton, Crazed Leap, Boarding Action, Brutes from the Deep, Know the Ropes, and just a rare again, Swarm of Undead. God damn! Look at that artwork. The armor pleases me all night. Quiet now, keep quiet until none of them draws breath. Broken. And then we have the boy Barbosa. Can we get the rare Barbosa? We cannot, it's a common again. Double cross and uh, easy pickings. Oh, this British justice this for Britain is not coming through for us. Alright. Gillette, the best a man can get. Dueling with the death. Blade and bullets. Sepper hook. Fire at will. Hiding place. Proper leverage. Will Turner, just on his own. And again, just a rare. Final negotiations. Oh, I've just thrown that across the screen. Final <laughs> negotiations. Then we've got Lord Beckett as a common Beckett's bargain. And uh, you're mine, Turner! Well, you're fucking right with that one, because I've had two of his fucking doubloon cards and about ten of his fucking chamber cards. Fucking Will Turner, fucking twat. Okay. Come on. Doubloon Norrington. Can we do it? God damn, my floor is a mess. I am... I'm not looking forward to cleaning that up when I'm sober tomorrow. It's gonna wake up and the floor's gonna be covered, <laughs> covered in booster packs. Okay, we've got Knockout, Greenbeard as an ally this time, Broadside, then Incendiary Shark, Claim by the Depths, Brutes from the Depths, X marks the spot. Uh, Marty, just a rare again, left hanging, and Rachel, fucking darling again. Is it the rare? Let's find out. It is not. It is the common. Go away. How many packs have we got left? We have a grand total of two packs left. Oh, we got to get one more giveaway. Right? Come on, man. At least give me some unique chamber cards. It seems like I've had all the same. This is bullshit. This isn't right. Where did, where did for Britain go? Have I lost it? It was at the front, wasn't it? I don't know, I had it on top of these chamber cars, but it's disappeared. Britain, where are you? Come back, we need you. Hold on, hold on. I'll find it, I'll find it. But yeah, for, for people who are thinking about playing this card game, would definitely recommend. This card game is lit. Uh, I'll give it a shot at some point. Yeah. Should be good luck. You, you can get like starter sets for it, for, like a 10 or an EB, for sure. But me and David played it and we had a lot of fun. Okay, I can't find it, so fuck it. We're just going to go without the uh, For Britain blessed luck. Look how many Rachel Darlings there are. Fuck my life. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth fucking Swan, this pack shit then. You will serve. I think that's new actually. Ooh. Ooh. We do like Davy Jones artwork. Uh, grapples away. Martial law, not by choice. Berserk parrot. Easy mark. Lads, 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 We've got a rare, and there's a card after it. This is a doubloon pack! It's a doubloon pack! Is it? Oh. Okay, so we have, for our rare, is Cannibal Warrior. And, uh, for the doubloon, unfortunately, it is a dupe. But it's a dupe that you have not seen tonight, because it is... 
British justice. Cutler Beckett's gold doubloon card. God damn. Look at that shit. That is staying right there because we are British and we dish out justice. Oh, okay, and we got Jack Sparrow. Uh, he is the uncommon Jack Sparrow. Rum Torch and uh, Last Bullet, which is quite thematic. You can go on top of Rachel Darling. And now it's Harry Potter pack time because we got a gold doubloon card. All right, let's see what we got here. Here comes the foil Dumbledore. Okay, we have every flavoured beans. God, just every card in this set is iconic. Sandstone Gargoyle, maybe not so iconic. What is this? Manigro Potion, I don't actually remember that one. Looks cool though. Chimera. Scribbly Fours. The School Broom. And then Charms and Potions. And for our Uncommons, we have a Sickle to go with our Canut from earlier. So what does this do? You only play one money card each turn before your turn. If this card is in play, discard it, and you get two more actions this turn. This is fucking good. So you play it, and it gives you extra actions on the following turn? Correct, and you only get two actions a turn, so this doubles your amount of actions. Then for the second uncommon, we have Running from Filch. There it is. Why is everyone dressed in green? I don't know. Effect. Your opponent can't use actions to play lessons. Your opponent discards their entire hand and then they can draw three cards. Wow. Then we have, for the rare, not hollow, but it is Crab and Goyle. Look at them go. They are a character. You may use an action and discard two cards from your hand to do three damage to your opponent. Crab and Goyle burn. Kinda terrible, but Crab and Goyle are kinda funny. We need to leave the British Justice. So okay. Uh, you can go neg two with the power of Crab and Goyle. Let's open the last Pirates of the Caribbean pack. See what we get. Okay. Short fuse for the uncommon. Dueling with death and Gillette the best a man can get of course. Why wouldn't he show up? Hunted down Jeremiah Hampton. Good night captain Parley Oh shit, we've got a doubloon card boys. There's a card left and a rare Did we just get double doubloons back to back with the last two? So the rare is you cheated Shit! It's Norrington's fucking doubloon, boys! We did it! I mean, in the last pack. In the last pack, we got the Norrington doubloon. Royal Decree exclusive Commodore Norrington. Look at that shit. It looks like dog shit. The artwork is terrible. But we got it. We got the Norrington exclusive advantage. Fuck yeah! This was worth every penny. And then our chamber card is Greenbeard, who is a uh, hot common. Damn! We did it. We did it, lads. So, there, there's all the chamber cards we got. So, in a case plus five packs, we got... Six doubloon cards. That's kind of good odds. That's kind of good odds. Look at them go. Look how shiny they are. Uh, 
and uh, there's the pack of commons that we got. Oh well, commons, rares, uncommons. We, we gotta put the Norrington on top. God damn, we did it. Look at him go. Royal decree. Fuck me, I'm happy with that. Ah, right, let's do the rest of these Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Uh, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What am I on? Harry Potter packs. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six left to go. Can we get any hollows? I haven't had a single hollow out of these packs. I bought 12 of them. Come on, baby. Give me some hollow love. We got Mango Potion, Photo Album. I will take multiples of these because I think this card looks sick. It's definitely one of my favorite artworks I've seen. Every Flavor Beans again. Switching spell. Fungi Face Potion. Anti Cheating spell. Care of Magical Creatures. Charms. And then we get into the uncommons. This is where the good shit happens. Five points from Gryffindor. Again. Chad Snape. Coming in hot. Uh, Alohomora. Nice charm spell. And uh, a character. Argus Filch as a rare. No hollow, unfortunately. But Argus Filch. Felt Filch kind of iconic. So you may use an action to discard an adventure from play and you don't get the reward. That seems fucking terrible, much like Filch. So I guess that's fitting. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, like it's a, kind of terrible like... considering that McGonagall from two sets before does exactly the same thing, but also gives you a transfiguration energy for free. Uh, okay, cool. So we what you're saying is we uh, side deck four McGonagall's and uh, Filch goes in the bin. Oh no, you 100% main deck McGonagall as your leader. Well, no hollows in that amount of packs is kind of sketchy. Because you have, you have like hollows and then you have premiums. So hollows are just rares but with a, a shine on them. And then premiums are the like ghost rares that you saw the flip with. So not getting either of those is a bit like shit. So maybe these five packs are going to be blessed as fuck. But who knows. Okay. Muffling draft. Troll bogeys. Oh, photo album again. I can't get enough of this card. I'll take as many What's copies as I want. Album do? Fuck all. Um, before each of your turns, draw a card. Which is actually kind of terrible, because this game relies on life decking. Now, as, uh, as, well. as much as I recommend the Pirates of the Caribbean TCG, I wholeheartedly do not recommend this TCG, Harry Potter. Um... Good to collect, the artwork looks sick, the cards are really cool, the game to play is fucking AIDS. Because <laughs> uh, life decking is a mistake, and anyone who did it in their TCG is wrong. Uh, we have another Canut. A switching Wait, spell. Does Vanguard have that, which you play? <laughs> nah, Vanguard doesn't have life deck. What? But you take damage with your No, this, no like, uh, so... Life decking in this game is literally like if you deck out, you lose the game, and that's the only way you lose the game. And every oh. card that deals damage to you mills cards from your deck. Uh, that's fucking weird. Rather than actually taking damage like in Vanguard. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, Fungi Face Potion. Oh, we have a Quidditch energy. Look at that yellow energy. Look at it go. A transfiguration. Then for the uncommons, collapsing cauldron. 
pretty cool looking card. Winter Holiday. That's kind of cool. And uh, just a normal rare again, and we've already had it. Midnight Jewel. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. You hate to see doubles in pack openings like this, but it is what it is. Okay. Four more packs to go. Come on. We need them. We need them hollows. We need those premiums. Let's get it. I mean, this is a good common to start with. Sandstone Gargoyle is definitely a good common. Then we have Manigro Potion again. This card seems to love us in the past few packs. Chimera, another card that has shown up a few times. Scribble Force. And uh, School Broom and Black Bat, one of the best commons in the set. Very nice to get. Uh, so this card is, it requires four energy, one of which is Care of Magical Creatures. Uh, when you play it, you do two damage to your opponent, and then it deals two damage every turn. So it gets an instant effect, and then has the continuous effect, which is very good. Then we have a uh, Transfiguration Lesson, and a Care of Magical Creatures. For uncommons, we have Wooden Flute. So the, the flute that he uses on Fluffy. Then we have Candy Car again. And unfortunately just a rare, but it is a character. We have Harry Triumphant. Uh, at the end of each of your turn, if you played an adventure, draw up to four cards. God damn. That's an effect that seems shit, but it exists. Well, you don't want to draw that many cards. Yeah, that's, that's right. the problem. You just don't want to draw cards. Sometimes. Okay. Last three packs. Come on, give me at least one, like, foil. Not even a premium. This, just give me a foil. Is this a, is this a game where Pot of Generosity would be a good card? Maybe. Perhaps. Black Bat, best common. That's a good start. Uh, loop the Loop, a Quidditch card. Very nice. We like Quidditch cards. Charms Accident. Owl Post. Cauldron Cakes. Whispering Step. Then we have a Potions Energy. And a Quidditch Energy. Good old yellow energy. Does that mean we're going to get something good here? Who knows? Winter Holiday, which we've already had. That sucks. And then Stargrass Salve. Which I have not seen yet. There it is. Stargrass Salve. And the final card, which is not a hollow, but it is a rare adventure, which probably means it is dummy thick good, is Fight Riding the Centaur. And just look at this card. This is fucking gorgeous. I mean, you can't see it on this webcam at all, but this is a gorgeous card. Prevent all damage done to you by creatures, and your opponent has to discard four cards in play to solve it. That This is good. This is a good card. God damn. Okay, last two packs. Come on, there's got to be some hollows in here. Or have I just been scammed? Have I been EVA scammed? I've been scammed. Okay, so Chimera. Good old Chimera. Black Bat showing up again. Oh, and Sandstone Gargoyle, the two best commons in the set. God damn. Back to back. That is what we like to see. Photo album again. Nice. Switching spell. Muffling draft. And we have a care of magical reaches and a charms lesson. Candy car showing up again. And flying practice, which is new uh, as an uncommon. So, what is it? An adventure? Spell cards that need 
Quidditch energy power, use up to two of your opponent's actions instead of one. Oh, okay, so it's a counter to Quidditch decks. Okay, interesting. That's, that's some niche usage for that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, there is a side deck in this game, so I guess that makes sense. And the rare is not hollow, unfortunately, but it is the Great Hall. And it is a two-cost rare. What does it do? Before each player's turn, he or she draws a card. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, so day of peace. it's chicken game, <laughs> effectively. Chicken game. Because it affects both players. Interesting, interesting card. Not sure why you would play it, but it is a card that exists. Okay, so last pack. Destiny hero that makes both people draw a card. <laughs> oh, I know what you're on about. Um, Isn't it just called Draw Hand? I think it's called Draw Hand. Yeah. Okay, last pack. Come on. There's got to be a hollow in here. Come on. Troll bogeys. Photo album. Nice. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure we needed this many photo albums, but we have them now. Hey, you need that draw power, right? <laughs> Switching spell. Fungi face potion. Then we have a potions lesson and a Quidditch lesson. Stargrass Salve. Five points from Gryffindor. And we did it. We did get a foil. It's not a hollow, but it is a foil. It is the Riding the Centaurs foil. God damn. Look at that card. This had sick artwork before. Now it has even nicer artwork because it's foil. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently, if you get a foil, you get two rares. So the other rare is a galleon. So we have the galleon, canut, and the uh, sickle now. Does the galleon give you uh, three actions? Uh, the galleon, before you... Yes, yes, you're correct. It does exactly what the, the sickle does, but for three actions. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we got a foil. I can't really complain of that. No premium is a bit sad, but we got a foil. We got a lot of cards that can boost my deck, so I should hopefully be able to wipe the floor with David now. <laughs> um, yeah, there it is. That is my entire pack opening. Uh, thank you, anyone who has stuck through this. Mainly Bobby, because I think you're the only person, seeing as I have one viewer. There were a few other people earlier. Yeah, yeah, but I think they left. Um, I don't really want to go to bed right now, so I might play some Fall Guys, but... If you were just here for the TCG shit, feel free to leave. I'm, I'm, I'm only up for uh, free pot trading cards. Obviously. Of course, of course. Uh, maybe I won't play Fall Guys, I think I'll just end it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to open all this. I was going to do it on Sunday, but fuck it. I was pissed. And I didn't have anything better to do. So uh, there's there's the there's the, the balloon cards we pulled. And uh, I'll just get the rare thingy that we pulled. Where is it? Is it the Norrington? No, the, uh, the Centaur thing that we just pulled. There we go. There are the good pulls. Uh, thanks everyone, and I'll see you, hopefully, in the next one.